Hey guys, Metal Fan 230 here, and today we talk Avenged Sevenfold. This is their self-titled album that was released in the fall of 2007, of course. Now, before I want to talk about this album, of course. Now, now after the success of City of Evil, people, the, the band was worried. Avenged Sevenfold were kind of um worried that there was that people weren't taking them seriously, and they decided, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna write some good songs and and produce this this album themselves. It's the first time they've produced the, the, an album, and they wanted to show that everybody that they're not a manufactured rock band, and they can do do all this stuff, and they did. And for this album, they add some new stuff. They add some bunch of cool things. Now, I want now let's talk about this album, of course. The the songs. There's ten songs, so let's talk about the songs. The, the album ends up with a song called Critical Acclaim, which starts off with sort of a PS with sort of an organ thing played by M. Shadows, of course. Then it sort of gets to a dual guitars, which I believe ki it kind of sounds sort of like an epic, epic opener. It gets it just gets fast and in your face, and and this first and I like how near the pre-chorus you can hear the red vocals. That's the first time that any of the band members say one of the split sing backup vocals. Like they wanted to sort of bring sort of the live elements to the to to this album of course, having being each of the band members sing and just put the backing vocals among them rather than having M Shadow sing everything. Yeah, it's a good good opener. The next song is called Almost Easy, which is the first song I heard from this album was around two thousand seven of course. The, just a fast in your face kind of pace song. Yeah. Then we get to sort of a darker, darker song on the album called Scream. Just so opens up with a scream, of course, then it just gets dark and just haunting and brutal in your face. Then we get to the next. The next song is called Afterlife. Now the song is about a person who, who is taken up to heaven too early and wanted to just. Do do things before they 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 die. die. They realize it could be too late or something. It's a good song, but the video is pretty good. Having sort of that band members playing on a, in a stage, then up in heaven. One thing that sucks is that they cut out the bridge with the red vo vocals. That, that part in the video version. It's an okay song. Next song is called Gunslinger. I think it's that. Now this is where the album sort of slows down a bit with the sort of a ballad -y type song. It, sh it starts off very slow for like the first minute or two, then it just gets at in your face, you know, like that. Next song is called Unbound, The Wild Ride. Uh, nothing much to say there, just another song, heavy song. I think so. There gets a bumped in cocktail, which is just fast and just piano, I think. Or was that the other song? I can't remember. I haven't listened to this album in a long time. Then we get to the next song called Lost. Now, Lost is... Eh, okay. But the one thing that's weird is that they use sort of auto-tune vocals. Kind of... I heard in an interview, it kind of sounds like Dragon Force with a robot, sad robot on vocals. But Lost is a good song, but the auto-tune, like, really? Then we get to the epic of the album called A Little Piece of Heaven, which is sort of a rock metal opera, whatever you want to call it. It's it's pretty pretty daunting and pretty pretty awesome in my opinion. Then we get to the last song on the album is called Dear God, which they actually went country on this album. I'm like, fuck. I hate country tree. I hate it to be honest. I'm just saying that you know, there's a lot of people that will probably disagree with me. Me. But I know, but yeah, and this album, they actually it went the highest chart. It went up to number four on the Billboard chart, of course. Now this song, they, they would tour for this album for about a, until around 2009, of course. And after this, they would go through and through something difficult. Now, if you know what that is, but I'm not gonna talk. I'll talk about it in the next review. Now, score. I'm gonna give this album. I'm gonna give their fourth album, the fourth, the self-titled fourth album from by Avenged Sevenfold, an eight out of ten. Later.